hello there people in the view of us. So today we're doing a video on the royal family mm. and what the royal family means to both of us. Well, I'd say we're both royalists but in different sorts of ways. What so, do you mean? Well, a royalist is somebody that likes the royal family. I There's do. a lot of people out there that say that now that the Queen's gone, maybe it's time to get rid of the monarchy. I don't think it is. So I'm going to hand over to Ivy to say why she likes the royal family and what sort of impression she had of England thanks to the royal family when she was in the Philippines before she came over. Oh well, when, we was, when I was in the Philippines, of course, there is not a um, cell phone or internet that you can look at. Only we saw the Queen if there is a special event that news um, all over the world. So we have that news and then that's all we can see the news from the Queen and the royal family. And when I came in the UK, yeah. it's nicer. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see the Queen in the news. I don't see the, I never seen the Queen in real life. Oh, I did in her platinum jubilee, but very, a little bit far. She was waved to us. So that's very good experience. And when I came in the UK, I thought everyone's like, act like a royal. Like gentlemen and ladies. Mm. The impression that she had of England is everybody would have the same sort of accents. It's like over in the Philippines, when Ivy was learning English, it was American English, like they'd say ATM rather than hole in the wall or, or cash machine. She was a little bit lost when she came <laughs> over with some of the words that are different from American English and UK English. But yeah, so she thought that a lot of us would be talking like the Queen and using the Queen's English, which a lot of us do, but a lot of us don't. There's a lot of accents in the UK, which took yeah. her by surprise. It's very fascinating how they talk, like see their accent, you know. Um, when I started working in the UK the first time here, all the British people noticed that my accent is American. Well, I said we learn American, mm -hmm. and and then start. Then I started this mm -hmm. accent like we do today. Mm -hmm. Yep, and also over in the Philippines, a lot of their culture out there is very respectful of one another. Ladies are treated like ladies, men are the men, etc, etc. And she thought that was echoed by what she saw in the royal family and learnt of England through the royal family. So mm -hmm. a lot of public opinion overseas is driven by our figureheads, our royal family. It's got a massive influence yeah. on people wanting to come to the country. Not to just only live here and make a life here. I mean, Ivy is an English citizen and she took an oath. She took an oath to the Queen and now she's a UK citizen. How did you feel taking that oath to the Queen and country? Well, it's very uh, good privilege that I am now, I've got two nationalities, Filipinos and I'm a British citizen. But of course, we respect the culture in this country, you know. She feels very proud to be part of this culture and country and she feels closer to the Queen. She went to the Jubilee. If you're looking at the footage in the background, that's from the Jubilee where Ivy went with her friend and they enjoyed the day. They really yeah, did. just so lucky that it's one off, you know. It's a good experience that we attended to uh, Platinum Jubilee. We wake up four o'clock in the morning and then we came home around nine o'clock. So all day standing, walking, but it's well worth it. You know, to see the Queen and other royals family and all the troops mm -hmm. and royal family or especially the Queen, she is one of my mentor. Oh, yeah. I, I always ask them, can, can we go and have afternoon tea? Because I know <laughs> royal family or the Queen especially, she like afternoon tea. So we went to different afternoon teas, posher and posher and posher. And I'd like her clothes that she's wearing are like be i don't know pink i know she likes bright color but plain i like those kind of design and you know well it, it, a oh. lot of the influence even the decor in our house you know ivy will see something on tv like the royal family have oh, like that, that. She'll be like, i like that i like that <laughs> it's like the way she dresses or the way that she comes across she likes to be quite elegant with the way she is because she feels, you know, that's that's the way to be in England. Yeah, you know, it's 
it's, it's something to strive for, isn't it? I mean, yeah. we're both working class. Ivy is a nurse. Ivy is a nurse. She's a cardio technician specialist at the Northampton General. And myself, I'm, I, I work for a contractor, so for BAE, and I'm contracted to the government. So, yeah, we're, we're both working class individuals. We're not upper class. We're far no. from it. We're not really <laughs> posh or anything. Yeah, very far. But, but we just live in... Um... It's all right area, you know. Yeah, we're, we're working class. Yeah. 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 Middle to working class. Yeah. Um. When we heard the Queen that she died, I... Steve said, when I came home, Steve said, oh, the Queen died. No, I was still in denial for one day. I think until the night, until they pronounced that she, she died. I still can't believe it. It's not sinking in my head because it's like for me, it's different without a queen. Mm. You know, we miss the queen. When whenever I work and there's a newspaper or magazine, I always ask the people or I buy this newsletter or magazine that the queen is on the page, you know. I always keep, I have loads of uh, stock, stock of files in here about the royals, how they, you know, how they dress up mm -hmm. and what they do, you know, it's very... So basically, um, they're role models, they're inspirational in, in many ways in our life. But not only that, they're, they're kind of an echo chamber of how the English people are. It's like a lot of people know that the taxpayers in the UK pay for the monarchy to have that lifestyle that they have but then the monarchy themselves oversee do a lot of charity work for people and a lot of people see the royal family as an extension of the english people and the people that are giving the money to them so they can do that charitable work so in a sense the charity that they do is an echo for charity for us around the world and i kind of like them for that reason but not only that reason Look at all the other countries that are run by politicians and politicians are some of the most corrupt people going, you know, whereas the royal family, yes, they've got their ups and downs. They've got their odd sheep amongst their family. But what family doesn't? Every family has got a very strange uncle. Uh, <laughs> you know, every family's got that tear away lad that wants to be different from the rest of them, you know. <laughs> disappears to America you know that sort of thing happens in every family and I kind of like the fact that the royal family has those quirks about them you know yeah nobody's perfect you know even their royals you thought they're perfect everything is rehearsed nothing to be rehearsed as a family or a, an, a very natural way of living as a whole as a family yeah. And for me, the reason I think that we should retain the monarchy is if we didn't retain the monarchy, all those sort of areas and lands that the the royal estate holds, the politicians would just get it. And within a few weeks, they'll sell it to their mates, they'll build power plants or, or high-raise flats or something, and it would all just disappear. And I think to have a monarchy, it unites the whole country, you know. It's to symbolise of the UK. Yeah, without it, we lose some sort of sense of identity. It's what sets herself out from the rest of Europe. I mean, yes, there's a queen in Queen of Denmark. I think she's the only royal female head of state now, isn't she? She's the only queen left as a queen of Denmark, I think. I'm not 100% sure. about it. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you know, it, it, you're right. You know, there's not many other countries that have a royal family or a monarchy, mm -hmm. and it sets us out. And we're, we're slowly losing our sense of identity mm -hmm. through the years anyway. Some of it's good, some of it not so good. And I think the royal family needs to stay. Yeah. Lose and that. And also, especially the tourists even, mm -hmm. around the world, they want to come here in the UK because of the royals. Yeah. The history. A lot of histories in the UK. And a lot of them influences, you know, attract by the um, people around the world. And it's like a lot of smaller businesses in and around London. They get royal warrant seals of approval. You know, they've been endorsed by the Queen or whatever. They don't go for the massive, great, big corporate. Amazon hasn't got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually support local business and give them a royal stamp of approval. And that can really help local businesses in getting somewhere. And it's like the Prince's Trust as well for people who want to do entrepreneurial stuff and make their own business. They get a little step up on the ladder. 
I just think they do far more good than they do bad, the royal family. I can't understand why people want to get rid of them. Oh, you're born with a silver spoon in your in your mouth. But that happens anyway in higher society. And like I said, we're working class. We weren't born with those sorts of level of privileges. But some people are. You know, Richie Sunak, he went on TV and said, yeah, I don't have any working class mates. Ho, ho, ho. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> so, you know, it's still going to happen. They've got the House of Lords. They've still got Lords. I mean, who's going to be knighting people? There's mm. not going to be sirs. There's mm. not going to be any lordships. This is what England is all about, is yeah. titles. It's not going to be the same UK, you know. Uh -huh. We might lose something, but at least now it's, we have a king, King Charles. Uh -huh. So he will continue what Queen Elizabeth, you know, does before. I think the only time that, you know, we should consider maybe getting rid of the monarchy is if we ever do become some sort of global entity and we just... Go, right, well, we're the planet Earth. The day that we make contact with freaking aliens and, <laughs> and there's other people coming from the stars and things, then maybe, maybe we'd need a, a world ruler at that stage. But until then, good old Blighty, good old England and the UK as a whole, because that's another thing. You know, the, the Queen and the Royals, they actually have titles for Cornwall, for Scotland, for... You know, they, they join us all together. They make us... The United Kingdom. Yeah. And without them, you're going to get the politicians in Scotland, the politicians in Wales and Northern Ireland all bickering with each other. And there's not going to be that sense of cohesion without the royal family. So, no, it's not going to be yeah. the same without monarchy and royals. Yeah. You like royals. Maybe I'm thinking about this too simply. Um, before I met Ivy, I, I, couldn't, I was on the fence. I didn't really care which way it went. But after I've met Ivy and we've gone to some of these royal heritage sites and you see how immaculate they are and how they manage to encompass and hold on to our heritage and history inside of these sites and how well maintained the public purse has kept them. Oh, we went to mm. Princess Diana's garden. Althorpe, um, Althorpe, yes, mm. and it was beautiful. And the one in London mm. is for Princess Diana's, you know, the big one. I don't, I, I can't remember. The big one, one on my birthday. Right. You know, there is... Um... Drawing a blank here, people. No, you know, all the cactus and that, you know, the dome. It's oh, hers. Yes. Oh, yes. The Kew yeah. Gardens. We went to Kew Gardens and it was the Princess Diana's um, garden greenhouse thing. But it was bigger than a greenhouse. I don't know what Jeez. to call it, but it was amazing. If yeah. we can find the video, I'll put it in the top right hand corner so you can see what the fudge we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, really cool. Um, but yeah, all these heritage sites, like I say, if the if the monarchy goes, who will get that? The government will get that. What they're going to do with it? They're probably like they did with our gold reserves and just sell it all off and give all the profits and proceeds to their mates. Have a bit of a jolly for a few years and then it's gone and then it's gone yeah. forever. And what's going to happen to the nation? No. Yeah. What, what's, what's going to? Yeah, we we lose a sense of our history, a sense mm. of our. It, it, no. We we'll lose the identity. Go of the uk that's all i can say yeah you won't get so much tourists tourists coming over yeah. which is is a big boost to our economy let's face it and yeah we're doing this video because of the queen's the past yeah the queen's past. yeah we're doing this video because of the queen is past you know i just want to have memories mm -hmm. of the queen i don't know how how long we're gonna have a queen again mm -hmm. queen charlotte maybe in future time but we're gonna be dead by that time there's a lot of people that have a lot of concerns about charles and to be honest i do too you know the whole diana in you the too. tunnel <laughs> and um yeah that, that that still feels dubious to me <laughs> you know um yeah but at the moment what we can do is support our king and hope he's gonna do a better job a good job like his mother he's got some big shoes to fill um i think he's been yeah. trained since he was young so hopefully he will do the same as the queen did yeah yeah the queen is also the model of all of us in the uk and all over the world as well so we're gonna miss her yeah she will be sorely missed i mean the queen's message every christmas you know that, that's going to be a bit different being delivered by um, prince charles be interesting to see because he's only got a couple of months to prepare let's face it we're in the final quarter um but yeah, i did cry yesterday about the funeral mm. so sad 
Mm. We did watch for a full 10 hours too, really. Yeah, the other one will die. Sorry, because I, I want to see everything about the Queen. That's the last time we're going to see the Queen. Yeah, seeing Prince Charles lay the flag on it, his mum's coffin was a bit moving. Ivy's moved to tears right now, in fact. You know, it's, it was a very sad day, but at the same time, still sort of celebrating the life that the Queen had. She had a long innings and she did so much with her life. So, yeah, God rest her soul. She was a lovely lady and she brought a lot to this country. She's got a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. Yeah. So. We'll miss you, the Queen. We'll miss you, Queen. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of wish that it missed Charles, to be brutally honest, and jumped over to, to um, you know, William. William. The only thing is, William has got all those titles, William and Kate, all those titles, that so they have to pass on to their kids. And their kids are not, they're not come of age to carry those titles and to do all the things that they would need to do as, you know, the second in air. It's just untimely. So I guess, you know, Charles is a stay in until it can move over to William. And I just hope that the time that he has he passes over a decent legacy to William because I think William's going to make a fantastic king. Open my eyes, how many minutes? And I really like Kate. Kate's brilliant as well. The character work that Kate's doing is kind of reminiscent of what Diane was doing, and William just carries himself so well. So yeah, I I kind of would like to see William become king, and then see what happens next after there. You know, what's is 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 Lillian's going to grow up to be like? So I think there's I think there's still life in the monarchy and I think there's a future in the monarchy. Unless there's an alien invasion. There we go. <laughs> no aliens. I don't believe in aliens. You don't believe in aliens? No. Why? I don't know, I just don't I believe guess that's it. another video, isn't it? We could do no, it I don't with... believe in aliens. No aliens. <laughs> you just made up yourself. No. And you and It's you, a vast you. universe. The chances of there being alien mm. life is relatively high. I've never high. seen any. I don't know, I don't <sighs> believe it then. Yeah, but you also believe in God and and angels and demons. Yeah, that's all I believe. Yeah, yeah. But you don't believe in dinosaurs. No, either. <laughs> there's, there's freaking bones in museums. No, it's not a bone. <laughs> it's just a rock. That... <laughs> well, we've talked politics and we've talked religion. The two things that we shouldn't talk about in a video ever. And religion, no, don't talk about it. No. Okay. So anyway, so we're gonna end up this video. So this video is about. Passing up the Queen and we're going to miss her. Yeah, and our reasons for supporting the monarchy. Um, but that, that that's pretty much everything that we're gonna, we've got to say, so we might as well wrap it up. Thank you very much for listening. And long live the Queen. Uh, sorry, king. Long live the King now. Yeah, that boat sailed. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, yeah. guys. So yeah. God rest she... your soul, the Queen. And um, long live the King. There we go. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, and goodbye again. What are your eyes? I'm okay. Is that, I'm okay. Are you not crying? I, I, only when I saw you cry, you put a lump in my throat. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Because whenever I remember the Bless queen. You. Ooh, mm -hmm. Little princess. <laughs> yeah, she's my queen. Anyway, bye all. Thank you very much for watching Manila London. We now have a merch store with quite a lot on offer. Take a look at our Teespring from our channel page. Or you can hit a like, a subscribe, or one of these tiles and stay with Manila London that little bit longer. Thank you for watching.